Instagram. Tony Gaskin is here. Want to pop in really quick. I plan to, on Sundays, kind of go through some of my make it work. Um, if you have read the book, this is really for you just to kind of dive a little deeper. If you haven't read the book, you can visit your local bookstore or Amazon or whatever. Um, some people think it's not for singles, but if you think it's not for singles, that means you don't understand that a ounce of prevention weighs more than a pound of cure. So it is better to have this type of knowledge before a relationship instead of waiting till you get in a relationship and have to deal with cheating and lying and all of these other things to then try to get this information. Because if you get this information 10 years into a relationship, it could be too little too late. And so on, on Sundays throughout the rest of this year, because next year I'll be switching gears. Um, try to, you know, talk a little bit about some of the chapters and go through. And on chapter one, it's entitled, You Don't Know Love. And a lot of people don't understand what that means when I say you don't, lo you don't know love. And it sounds kind of harsh. But what I really want you to think about and realize is ask yourself, how did you learn love how did you learn love and so when you look at your home life growing up if you had two parents in the home and you didn't really see them fight and argue then you didn't learn love because every relationship has issues has disagreements so if you didn't see them have a disagreement and then find a resolution. You didn't see how they problem solve, how they work through their issues. Then you were lied to about love because it made you think that relationships don't have disagreements or arguments, if you want to call it. And so what happens is a lot of people who grow up in those two parent homes who did not see any arguments and disagreements or any conflicts and then conflict resolution grow up with this fairy tale idea of relationships and think that everything is just going to be handed to them and end up getting into a relationship and is just blown away you know, or drawn into all kinds of mess, all kinds of nonsense like threesomes and dealing with physical abuse and verbal abuse because you never learned conflict resolution. You never learned how to see a problem and what that problem was when you grow up in that two-parent household where you never see your parents disagree and then work through it or talk to you about that disagreement and how they work through it. Now, if you were in a two-parent home and you saw fights, physical fights or verbal abuse, then you learned lies about love because if you were not talked to about those fights that you saw growing up, then you would grow to believe that physical abuse or verbal abuse or control is a part of a relationship that it's a necessary evil in a relationship and so if a man saw his father control or abuse his mother or vice versa he will grow up and either do that or allow that and the same for a woman so if you saw toxic behavior between your parents growing up and they didn't come to you and explain to you and say listen Abuse is never acceptable. It's never acceptable. And this is why it happened. And this is what we did about it. And this is how we're working on it. And so when you really think about it, it's like who has those types of conversations with their parents? It's very, very rare. Of course, I'm going to have those conversations with my son because I'm aware of it and because I'm writing books talking about it. But 
that won't be the case for most people. Most people won't be called to relationship teaching and relationship coaching and have the understanding about parents needing to be transparent in order to help their children understand the nuances of a relationship and understand what it takes to have a healthy relationship. The other part of this is if you grew up in a single parent home. So if you grew up in a single parent home, you saw one of a few things. One thing is you saw a very strong, independent parent who you didn't get to see interact with someone in a relationship. So it made you overly independent and you just depend on yourself and you get stuck in independence and not understand that you have to be able to go from being independent to being interdependent. So you can actually go into a relationship and sabotage every relationship because you are overly independent and not mature enough or don't know enough or wise enough to become interdependent. So if you saw that from a single parent, then you don't know love. You know self-love, but that is not truly fully self-love. It's more so a selfish love. You also may know a enabling, may have learned that enabling behavior from a single parent who gave you every single thing that you wanted and bent over backwards for you and didn't really teach you the benefits of the word no and how to deal with a no or or didn't or if they gave you a no didn't give you an explanation on why they gave you a no so that you learn from the no and so you didn't learn love the correct way on the other hand if you grew up with a single parent who was an addict or struggling in some type of way, then you didn't learn love because you learned self-hate. And that can make you full of bitterness and resentment or low standards and a lack of self-worth that you end up accepting anything in a relationship, all forms of abuse because you didn't learn love. Now, in other cases with a single parent, you learned promiscuity. You learn self-hate and a lack of self-worth if you saw your single parent in several different relationships, dating around and sleeping around with different partners and three, four, five different stepdads or stepmoms that you had to go through, then you did not learn love. So dive a little deep in chapter one, which is titled, You Don't Know Love. And really what I'm saying is none of us took a love 101. But if you have not sat down and watched a game film from your parents' relationships, whether they had one or not, and then your relationships, then you don't know love. And what I've come to find out as a relationship coach is 90% of people have never experienced real, healthy love, real and healthy love. Most of us are living a lie as it relates to love. And so we believe love is either pain or we believe love, real love doesn't exist. But love is real. And what you would call a fairy tale can be real, meaning a 100% faithful relationship without any form of abuse, verbal, emotional, physical, financial, social, that is real. But you have to identify, you have to evaluate the love lessons that you learned growing up from your parents and then evaluate how it showed up in your life and how it is affecting you. Hey, this is Tony Gaskins. We'll talk soon.